Once Steve Jobs said, everyone in this country should learn to program a computer because it teaches you to think. Most people, including software developers, think that their job is to write code, but actually it is more than that. The job of a software developer is to solve problems. So if you're someone who is interested in software development or someone who's wondered what it means to be and to think like a programmer, then this video is for you. I will share with you steps that you can take to become more effective in solving problems. So why is this important? Because problem solving is the meta skill. We all have problems, big and small. How we deal with them is sometimes, well, pretty random. Unless you have a system, this is probably how you solve problems. Step one, you try a solution. Step two, if that doesn't work, you try another one. Step three, if that doesn't work, repeat step two until you luck out. To be fair, sometimes you luck out, but you might already know by now that this is the worst way to solve problems. And it is a huge waste of time. But what is the better way? The better way involves having a problem-solving framework and continuously practicing it. Almost all employers prioritize problem-solving skills first. In fact, problem-solving skills are almost unanimously the most important qualification that employers look for, more than programming languages proficiency, debugging, and system design. Demonstrating computation thinking or the ability to break down large, complex programs is just as valuable than the baseline technical skills required for a job. So, what should you do when you encounter a new problem? You should act according to the problem-solving framework, which involves three steps I'm going to discuss next. Step one, know exactly what is being asked. Most hard problems are hard because you don't understand them. How to know when you fully understand a problem, when you can explain it in plain English. Do you remember being stuck on a problem? You start explaining it and you instantly see holes in the logic you didn't see before. Most programmers know this feeling. This is why you should write down your problem, doodle a diagram, or tell someone else about it. After all, if you can't explain something in simple terms, you don't really understand it. Step two, plan. Don't dive right into solving without a plan and somehow hope you can muddle your way through. Plan your solution. Nothing can help you if you can't write down the exact steps. In programming, this means don't start hacking straight away. Give your brain time to analyze the problem and process the information. To get a good plan, answer this question. Given input X, what are the steps necessary to return output Y? Step three, divide. This is the most important step of all. Do not try to solve one big problem. Instead, break it into subproblems. These subproblems are much easier to solve. Then, solve each subproblem one by one. Begin with the simplest. Simplest means you know the answer or are closer to that answer. After that, simplest means this subproblem being solved doesn't depend on others being solved. Once you solved every subproblem, connect the dots. Connecting all your subsolutions will give you the solution to the original problem. Congratulations! This technique is a cornerstone of problem solving. The third step is sometimes called the reduce the problem technique. For example, suppose you're a new programmer and you're asked to write a program that reads 10 numbers and figures out which number is the third highest. For a brand new programmer that can be a tough assignment, even though it only requires basic programming syntax. If you are stuck, you should reduce the problem to something simpler. Instead of the third highest number, what about finding the highest overall? Still too tough. What about finding the largest of just three numbers or the larger of two? Reduce the problem to the point where you know how to solve it and write the solution. Then expand the problem slightly and rewrite the solution to match and keep going until you are back where you started. Don't expect to be great immediately after adopting this problem-solving technique. If you want to be a good problem solver, you need to solve a lot of problems. You need to continuously practice this great technique. But how do you practice it? 
there are a lot of options out there for you. Chess puzzles, math problems, Sudoku, Go, Monopoly, coding challenges, and even video games, to name a few. A common pattern amongst the most successful people in the world is their habit of practicing micro-problem solving. So, to think like a programmer, you need to cultivate a problem-solving skill and practice it daily. Now, go solve some problems. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate it if you inflate the like button. Also make sure to subscribe to the Coding Tech channel for more videos and click on the notification bell. Enjoy the rest of your day.